Hi everyone, it's Patricia. Today I'd like to show you guys two projects that I created for Iron Roses as a designer. The first project I made is this pocket watch shadow box and I used medium weight chipboard to create this from scratch. First I just drew my image of a pocket watch so I needed two of those so I traced it for the top and bottom and then I cut out a two inch strip just to go all the way around the pocket watch just to give me that uh, thickness of a dimension. For the front of the box I cut out a circle just to display um, like a little bird was living inside of a pocket watch. The paper line that I used for this uh, pocket watch is by Grace Taylor and it's this vintage collection paper stack. It comes in a stack like this and it comes so many beautiful papers in here guys. I love every single one of these paper sheets that come inside. And I distressed all the edges of this pocket watch with Walnut Stain by Tim Holtz. Inside the box I used a lot of the beautiful flowers for my roses. There's a lot of the S10 flowers some cherry blossoms and also the R4 mini roses for my roses. There's also moss and some green leaves in there as well. I'm not sure if you guys are going to be able to see it because of, it is dark inside the shadow box a little. And uh, this little birdhouse is a uh, Sizzix dye and it's this birdhouse right here. Very beautiful. So I just added some more to store paper to the birdhouse. And uh, these alphas right here spells out Sweet Home. And it's by the Girls Paper Read, the Jubilee Sticker Market Stack. It comes like this. There's so many beautiful alphas inside and uh, they're stains. I love using this so much in my projects. And then also inside of the pocket watch, I added a wood skewer. Inside just to hold up the bird dye fussy cut from uh, the Grace Taylor Stack. And this is the bird nest from uh, Prima. And they come in a pack like this. Very beautiful. I love the robin's eggs in here. And then also inside the box, I punched out Martha Stewart uh, butterflies. And I added the 4mm white flyback curls from Carlos Etsy store. And uh, that's basically it for the inside of the box. And outside the box, I also fussy cut a lot of the images from the Grace Taylor collection as well. Just to add more cuteness to the um, pocket watch. Very beautiful. And also in the back as well. And uh, then over here, guys, on the edge of the pocket watch, I used so many gorgeous flowers for my own roses. I'm going to start off with this beautiful uh, spray that um, Booma carries in her store. And it's this pack right here, SP1-120. And they come five in the pack. They're gorgeous, guys. I love using the spray so much. And then also I used some seam binding that I purchased from an Etsy store. And also this beautiful S10 flower. I love using these in uh, so many projects because they add the smallest detail. Very cute. And then also I used a lot of cherry blossoms. And this cherry blossom comes in this pack. And the item number is S3-520. And they're gorgeous, guys. They're all so beautiful. And then I also used this beautiful R4-1 mini rose right here. Very gorgeous. And they come in the combo pack like this. Very beautiful. Every single one of these is perfect. Love all the colors. And then I just also punched out the butterfly from Martha's store and another 4mm white flyback pearls from Carlos Etsy store. And then over here I had this beautiful white crochet flower for my roses and the, also a pink flyback pearl to the center. And those crochet flowers, they come in packs like this. And the item number is JC1. Very beautiful. They're always so perfect. And then on top of it, I also use a S10 flower as well. And then over here, guys, this is so beautiful, this flower. They come in packs of 25, and the, the item number is R77-518, and they're perfect. I haven't seen one defect in these flowers yet. They're always so beautiful. And then that's basically it for the box. Also, let me just show you guys a closer look. Very beautiful. I love how the smallest detail can add so much cuteness to a project. And then also I add this beautiful um, lace trim here just to add a bow to the box as well. And that's basically it for this pocket watch shadow box. And then I made a um, small mini album using the Sizzix Bird House. For the mini album, I used the same paper lines that I used uh, on the shadow box uh, pocket watch. It's by Grace Taylor. I distressed the edges with walnut stain by Tim Holt. On top of the little bird house, I punched off a Marta Stewart this color punch. And also I added this lace from my stash and I just made it into a bow. Here's another um, bird that I fussy cut from the Grace Taylor collection. And here it just says French up on the bottom and that's from the girls paper ring, the Jubilee Alpha Stack. And here's a beautiful flower from Iron Roses and it's the same pack that I showed you guys before, the R4-1. 
and here's just a leaf also from a spray that I cut off and also this little twig here that I just curled up as well and that's basically it for the front of the page I think it came out super cute and then on the following pages they're pretty simple because I just wanted to add pictures to them I just distressed them with the Tim Holtz walnut stain on this one I fussy cut this little image from a Webster pages very cute and I added some glossy accents on it just to bring out the image a little better and uh, it's pretty simple the other pages I did freehand cut all the other pages because I didn't want the circle to punch out with the, this is exciting because this is how it will punch out from the die it will take out that little circle so I just freehand cut the rest of the papers and this is another page as well very simple and following page is also simple just has polka dots in here I fussy cut this little bird also from the paper line by Grace Taylor and some uh, flowers right here on the bottom the bird does lift up so I could uh, add a picture and on the following page is also very simple again just for me to add some pictures and then on the back I also fussy cut some flowers from the same uh, collection that I used uh, for the pocket watch just to add a, a little small detail to the end of the back of the mini album and that's it for the mini album. I had a lot of fun creating this mini album and pocket watch. Please do stop by ironroses.com and show Boomer some love. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, guys, happy scrapping. Bye, guys.